But yeah, today we're going to do some Reddit reviews. We're going to r slash am I the asshole? And we're going to look at some of the posts. And then we're going to use this website and like decide, hey, is this person an asshole or not? We don't fucking know. So I'm just going to swiftly um, rename uh, the different tiers, not the asshole. I think there's like, there's like a middle ground. No assholes here, I think it's called. And then we have you are the asshole. Uh, but then we also have everyone's an asshole. Then let's just jump into it. I guess we can just start from the top. This qu this person asks, Am I the asshole for being upset because my boyfriend wants me to lose weight? No one would be an asshole for someone else wanting you to lose weight. Like, what the fuck? That makes absolutely no sense. What the fuck do you mean, monkey fixer? Uh, cringe. What the fuck? Uh, they're pretty short and small. Five foot one. 113 pounds now. Okay, I don't speak fucking American fucking cringe for everyone who actually use real You know numbers. It's 155 centimeters tall and then 113 pounds That would be 51 kilograms that makes sense, right? That's that's not even that's not even large like that's that's about the same weight as you probably should be This is the first time that I've been a healthy weight for a while. Yeah, exactly. That's literally a healthy weight What the fuck? I received a message from my boyfriend last night about how he thinks I'm beautiful and attractive and he wants me to be happy and healthy. And that's why he wants me to lose weight. But I am happy and healthy now, so I feel like it's an empty reason to just tell me that he thinks I need to lose weight. Yeah, exactly. It seems like he just wants you to lose weight because that's his, like, preference, I guess. I don't understand because I wasn't healthy nor happy when I was underweight before. Exactly. That's also a thing. You need to you need to remember that you can be um you can be a healthy weight and unhappy. Like there are a lot of things that combines, you know, your health and your happiness. And being happy is like more important to your health than being slightly above or slightly under like a a line that a doctor tells you or something. Um when I have explained my feelings about it as stated above, he wouldn't budge about it. That seems like a red flag and you should probably you should probably break up with him, I feel like. Can someone tell me how they feel about this? Okay. So, from the information that we have here and from the title, I think I think we didn't even need to read more than the title to be fair. But the, just from reading the title, we see this person is definitely not an asshole. So, here we are. I'll see if I can do this. Oh shit, it's large. Oh shit. So this person is not an asshole. And if nothing else, uh, I, I'm actually gonna add an extra tier, which we're gonna call the obvious uh, or or sh clout chasing clout clout ch clout chasing. How the fuck do you say that? Because there's a lot of people who will make like a a post on this on this subreddit, and like it will be super obvious that they're not an asshole, but they just want validation from people around them. So in case we find someone who seems like, oh, I'm such a good person for doing this thing, uh, you know, something like that. That's when we're gonna put them in this one, because those people are the real assholes. Am I the asshole for not helping my family financially when they are close to becoming homeless? Let's see. Just from the title, we would probably say yes. I mean, it's not very cool to just let your family go homeless, right? But who knows, maybe there's something about this that they will tell us about. This person has six siblings. One is their twin. Their, th this person's mom is dead. Okay, that's kind of sad. That's big sad. She she died and left them both with funds and will get full access to a 25. Their parents are really bad with money and along with the fact that they were always drunk. Okay, so now we have like the baseline. The person in the in the thing, Hasella, Hasella, Hasella. You have you have you have money and you're 18 and your dad was a drunk. Okay, that's 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 some bad shit. There's some good shit, but there's some bad shit. Good shit, you have money. Bad Bad shit, you have a drunk father. That's not very nice. Um, they weren't always the best parents and often singled them out. This only got worse once they found out that they had money. Oof, that, that sucks. They made the kids work and then took the money that the kids made. What the fuck? Yeah, it's literally, it's literally slavery. Monkey fixer, you got a fucking, you, you got the right idea. This is actually slavery. What the fuck? At this point, you, they were almost 17 and they kicked her out. So they've abandoned you. I see. If you kick your fucking child out, they're not even technically an adult yet. If you kick your child out, have you not already, like, given away all privilege you have to the child? Huh? Yeah, thus far it doesn't seem like they're an- they're, th Thus far it doesn't seem like they're an asshole. We can't- I mean, who knows? Maybe down here it says, uh, Oh, I'm also Satan and I don't want to do this, you know? Like, <laughs> that, that could be a thing. They managed to turn all of our extended family against me, and I'm so close to just giving them the money and disappearing so that they can leave me alone. 
it would be a big there would be a big, big as different difference if if your parents actually tried their best if they if they were looking for stable jobs but because of covid they couldn't get anything and if uh, if they were good with money and they did their best to take to make sure that the youngest children had you know everything that would be a big different thing but like these people are very unresponsible they're guilt tripping they are gaslighting their fucking kid like it's fucking weird man there we go am i an asshole for not helping my parents from becoming homeless no you're not an asshole for not helping your bitch ass parents there we go we did it the parents are assholes not her exactly this one this one is actually interesting am i the asshole for not shaving my head because my wife is going through chemotherapy whoa this is a tough one this is a really tough one this is a both yes and no because it kind of depends on the situation there are a lot of reasons why you want wouldn't want to shave your head but at the same time when it comes to your wife you have promised to be there in sickness and in health and sometimes all they need is a bit of, you know, encouragement and, you know, someone being close to them. He starts this thing with, My lovely wife, unfortunately, has cancer. She decided it's better to completely shave her head instead of dealing with having uneven hair coverage. Uh, their friends and family are asking them to also shave their head to show support for my wife. I don't think it's necessary and I support my wife in other ways. I do feel guilty that I need to do it, but to this day I have decided not to. Does not doing this for my wife make me an asshole? A lot of people are asking if my wife has asked me to shave my head. She has not. Okay, that is a fair that is a fair question, and I think that is probably the most important part. You might think, oh, this person wouldn't shave their head for their wife. What the kind? What what type of husband is this? You know what the fuck? That's kind of cringe. You know, you might think so, but actually, if you read in between the lines. My friends and family are asking me to. My wife, she has not. Because the wife obviously would know that friends and family are asking him to do it, right? And if the wife hasn't expressively said anything about it, and he, as a person who loves her, hasn't seen her react in a way that would make him think that she would enjoy it, I'd say they aren't an asshole. Exactly. To me, a person is more special than my hairstyle, so I would probably do it. Shaving my head won't make her, you know, not sick anymore. You know, shaving your head won't make her cancer go away. I don't think it's necessary. I support my wife in other ways. And sometimes you don't need someone to just... Because, like, having a shaved head, like, there, there are people who are born bald. Are they showing support? I don't know. Can they show social support? You know? It's like saying, hey, if you're bald and your wife gets cancer, you can't show support because you can't shave your head. No, that doesn't make any sense at all, right? So, this person is not an asshole. <laughs> Am I the asshole for body shaming a 13-year-old boy? Seems like it, yeah. From just reading the title, yes, you are definitely an asshole for sh body shaming a 13-year-old boy. You shouldn't do that. It's going to probably manifest some bad thoughts in his head, and there's a chance that he's going to feel bad for maybe the rest of his teenage years, maybe even longer than that. He might, you know, get, I don't know, eating disorders. I don't know what the problem is. So there's a lot of things here that could make him feel bad for a longer time while you body shame a dude one time and you're not even going to think about it in the future. So yes, you do seem like an asshole, but there's always... <sighs> there's always context, isn't there? I, 16-year-old female, have a 13-year-old brother who is slightly overweight and short for his age. Okay, for context, we were watching TV with my other brothers and started watching some sports channel. It was the female long jump competition, and he kept making comments like, Ugh, these girls are trash, or when are the guys coming on? Okay, so he's, he's a bit of an asshole, but he's also 13 years old. You can, you can oversee a 13-year-old boy being an asshole, uh, to a certain extent, of course. He kept on going on about how girl sports are dumb, so I finally told him, Well, at least they can jump, you'd probably die if you did a sport. It was quiet for a while, because everyone was laughing at him. Oof. I've been feeling really bad because he's just a kid and maybe I should have handled it better. Yes, you probably should. But on the other hand, he frequently makes comments like this and I don't want him to grow up thinking this way. So Reddit, am I the asshole? This one is interesting because yes, yes, you are the asshole. You, you, you bullied a 13 year old boy when you were 16. I mean, yeah, you're, you're also not an adult, that's fair. And yes, you are siblings, but you want to know what? 
That's why we have the EHA area. This one is for when everyone here is an asshole. The, the boy, the 13 year old boy is a bit of an asshole for not respecting women, for being a misogynistic prick. But the, the sister is also an asshole because she could have handled it way better. She could have used better words. She could have explained why these things that he was saying were bad and maybe even told the older brothers to teach him how to be a respectable man. So to me, everyone here is a bit of an asshole. Okay, am I the asshole for abandoning, within quotation marks, my mother? The, ti the title seems like an asshole slightly, but, but the quotation marks intrigue me, because obviously abandoning then can mean a lot of different things. I, 21 female, cut off my biological mother when I was 19. That's early, that's the same age as I am currently, what the fuck? She was very abusive growing up to both me my older brother, who's 27 at the moment, and her dad. Her abuse led to her dad ending his life when I was 13, and also led to my brother to have still very prominent drug problems. I should also mention, my biological mother financially supports his drug abuse. Wait, nah, wait. What the fuck? I was later diagnosed with CPTSD and trauma in induced by psychosis. Okay, so a, pr a person who gives someone else PTSD, probably not that good of a fucking person, right? Like, no one else can tell you who to be with, right? You choose your own family, you choose your own, like, friends, you choose everything, everything that is important to you, you choose and feel inside yourself. My brother is very reliant on our biological mother to the point that he has no problem crossing my boundaries that I've set with regarding me not wanting our biological mother in my life. At this point, I'm thinking of also cutting off my brother until he can respect my boundaries and get help for his drug abuse. Yes, 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 wait, 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 wait. This here, I'm actually having a slight bit of a problem with, because you're not, you shouldn't be cutting off a brother who has drug abuse problems. You should help him get help for drug abuse. That's your first goal here. If you've already cut your mother off, and you're already living independently, but you know your brother is not. You know that life without the mother is going to be better, so help him get help for his drug abuse. Because it's if you're cutting off your brother now, you never have a chance to rebuild that relationship, in my opinion. Here's my, here's my, here's my take. You can't abandon your mother. She has abandoned you, meaning you're already left alone. You can't, you can't abandon someone who's not there for you. But the brother, do not cut off your brother. Cutting off your brother will only make him resent you, no matter what. Even if he gets clean in the future, even if he gets his shit together, he's going to remember you as either the person who um, cut off the, your mother and didn't help him cut her off too, or he's going to love the mother because she was always there for him, no matter what. In this situation, the mother is an asshole, the brother needs help, and the daughter needs help to help their family. You would still love mom, but you would not show it, but you would help bro out as much as you could. I don't know, like, the way I see, you know, the world is a child doesn't owe their parents anything. A parent brings in you, like, brings you into the world and should not expect anything off of you. Then, like, they're, they're only, the parent's only job is to love you. And if a parent has fucked up, the one thing that they're supposed to do, and the one thing they're supposed to do is love someone. That's, it's like, it's like the, it's like the huge, like the number one human thing, the one trait that all humans have that we can feel that makes us one thing is love, right? The one thing that sets humans apart other than our opposable fucking thumbs is the ability to feel. Like, we feel stuff. Truly, emotionally, we love things. And if a parent's only job is to love the child, and they fail that one thing, are they even a human anymore, you know? Like, it's it's literally... It removes, like, the basic quality of being a human being. You're, li you're basically a monster at that point. Either way, am I the asshole for not wanting to change my lifestyle or lock up my dogs? This older lady moves in on the third floor and is definitely afraid of my dog. She was well aware of my dog before she moved in. I have to lock him in my room before she will even come out of her room. 
I feel like she expect, expects me to completely change my lifestyle and lock up my dog all the time. When I am gone now, in the off chance, she might need to enter or exit the house. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what the fuck are you talking about? Are you meaning that you don't lock your house door when you're not at home? Is that what he fucking said? Is that what he said? Wait, what? This, this is an apartment complex. This old lady moves in on the third floor. This has to be an apartment complex. Bro, if you're not locking up your dogs, like, yeah, 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 you want to take care of your dogs, sure. But you should fucking lock your door when you're leaving. I drove to Cleveland the other morning. I am in Cincinnati. I was gone for almost 13 hours and he was locked in my room the whole time. It's just not fair. What do you mean it's not fair? Wait, 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 what? Next time I see her, I'm going to inform her that one, I think she's she is a selfish asshole for moving in. Two, I'm not going to hold her hand anymore. And three, my dog isn't going to be locked up all the time, so you better figure it out or move. I have a question about the house you're living in. She moved into the third floor. I don't know how that affects your floor. Each floor should be separate for each renter, so you should be able to have your dog out on your floor and not just your room. Unless, does everyone share the same public area, such as bathroom, living room, and kitchen? I'm a fucking asshole. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. We have the answer. He's a fucking asshole. <gasps> there are some shared living spaces. Each floor has a bathroom. First and second floor has kitchens. I'll... Wait, I'm gonna... Three-story house. Is this person telling me that they're living in, like, one of these? Are you living in, in, in a house like this? You're, you're fucking living here. And then an the old lady lives up here? Is that what you're fucking telling me? And you're letting your dog roam around inside here? If if you're talking about leaving your room, like, out in the fucking stair, stairwell, you should not let your dog out in the stairwell without supervision. Like, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, what I think, I agree. The old lady should not live here. The old lady should definitely move, should never have even taken the fucking place. She should look for another place to live as soon as possible. Because there are three dogs in the house, and she doesn't like dogs, and she can't even go when the door is not locked. That is a problem, and she's not going to be able to live like that, and she should leave. I agree. However, OP is an asshole for leaving their dog outside in common grounds when not home, and possibly locking their dog up for 13 hours without supervision. So everyone here is an asshole. That's my verdict. Everyone here is an asshole. Would I be the asshole? These ones are fun. Would I be the assholes are fun because they're not like true stories yet. Okay, would I be the asshole for refusing to look after the dog? Relatable to the last one? Maybe. They, a 22-year-old female, live with their boyfriend who's a 24-year-old male. Uh, oh, and she's been living with his parents for over two years. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's a thing you can do, I guess. I work full-time and I'm studying. My boyfriend also works full-time. Okay, so you have two full-time working jobs. We both pay rent to his parents. Um, his parents have gone away for 17 days this time, and they didn't even ask me or my boyfriend to look after the dog. But they asked my boyfriend's grandparents, who live next door, to let the dog out while I'm at work. I think I might be the asshole, because they were nice enough to let me move in. I pay them rent, but I feel like they don't respect me at all, and I want to be able to go visit my family whenever I want without working around their, pa their plans, because it's their problem. Are you an asshole for not moving out? I kind of feel like you're an asshole for not moving out. You've lived there for two years. You and your uh, boyfriend we both have full-time jobs. Your br uh, boyfriend is probably already graduated if he did some higher studies. Probably gonna, he probably has more money than you'd expect. I have a hard time seeing how you guys wouldn't be able to move to even the tiniest apartment close by, you know? Hmm, wait, wait. Could it be that no one here is an asshole? If we, wait, if we look at this as, 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 through another lens, if you want a dog and you own the house, you deserve to get a dog and you deserve to to have it in the house. But yeah, you're an asshole for not taking care of your dog and making sure that there's someone there to take care of them, right? So yeah, the parents are definitely assholes no matter what because they didn't ask to have their dogs taken care of. Meaning that if there wasn't the uh, if the boyfriend and the, the OP wasn't in the house, the dog wouldn't get the necessary help and stuff that it needs. Meaning that they are assholes. So they are definitely assholes. If, the, if you know that they're going away three to four times a year for 10 or more days, if you know you're gonna have to take care of the dog every single time that happens, then yes, yes, you would be the asshole because you definitely have the money to move out. 
my logic might not always make sense. But this time, everyone is, and forever will be, an asshole. Oh, pizza! Yo, pizza! I love pizza. Pizza's pretty neat. Am I the asshole for getting my pizza first? This just happened a few minutes ago, and I'm still conflicted on it. There's a decent shop not too far from me that does individual slices as a lunch special. We get there and are informed they don't have a pie ready yet, and it would be about 10 minutes before one is ready. Another individual walks in and also orders some slices. After talking it through with my co-worker, we decide to pay right as she is finishing just to make it easier. Here's where I'm wondering if I'm the asshole. The owner boxes my co-worker's order and mine first, before the other individual. They immediately scream that we are getting it because of white privilege. I tip the owner and head out telling my co-worker not to engage, so Reddit, even though we didn't pay first, but we did order first, am I the asshole in this situation? What? Don't you have anything better to do in your life than post a stupid, ridiculous, and fake story about something that you keep calling this individual and a situation where clearly no one is gonna call you an asshole? You're the asshole for this stupid post. The few minutes we all spend reading it are minutes we'll never get back. Exactly, I agree. This one had me dumbfounded because there's nothing here that would even suggest that you're an asshole. You went to a pizza shop, you got a pizza, you paid for your fucking pizza. What the fuck do you mean? If you, you paid your- Oh no, I paid for pizza! How dare I? Oh god, what? No, I paid for my pizza, bruh, what the fuck? Oh, maybe I am an asshole for paying for pizza, what the fuck what do you mean, bro? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, okay, so this is an obvious cloud chasing one. Am I an asshole for giving my brother a new life? This one deserves to be in the no assholes category. Am I the asshole for pushing my friend too far? I would say, based on the title, yes. You should never push anyone further than, you know, the limit. Sometimes you can test the limit, yes, that is fair. Because you don't know that there's a limit unless you cross over it, or at least touch it a little bit, you know? <laughs> We're making the world a better place, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, so, am I the asshole for postponing having a family? From just the title, I would say no. Yeah, misogynists are always assholes, that's that's probably a, a good thing to go for. Which, which, which one of these stories are, is the best? Who here is who is here is the least asshole, you know? All right, all right, all right. Here here's here's the final tier list from here's the most not an asshole. The person who is abandoning their mother who is being uh, an abusive mother is the least an asshole. Uh, the person who didn't help their father with his drinking problem um, is also not an asshole. The person who is not overweight and is healthy and happy, um, but yet her boyfriend is telling her that she should just weigh less. That's weird. Sus. Sussy baka. Also not an asshole. Then finally we have postponing having a family. It's, it's not an asshole move, but it's probably further down because at some point you said you were going to do it, but it's fine. Um, pushing your friend too far. Uh, I mean, you, you, there's a point to say that maybe you are an asshole, but I don't think you are. I think it's fair to not say you are. And then finally, the person who literally didn't, you know, shave his head. I don't think you have to to show support, but it sure as hell would be nice, I guess. So I guess uh, if you're if you're interested in seeing more of this, you can always follow slash subscribe slash whatever. If I make this a video, then like and subscribe. And follow me on Twitch. That's kind of the pog. Uh, sleep well. Eat something nice tonight if you haven't already eaten. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, okay? I'm five foot and very timid. I thought it was a funny image. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You're not five. No, no one's five foot.